So let's get to it. I believe we got one more side mission. And I don't know. Like I said before in one of the earlier parts, I don't know if Operation Black Flag is that, you know, no turning back single player mission where after you reach that part of the game, you can't go back and complete the side missions. I know I kind of got to that part in Dead Rising 4 and it screwed me over. I wasn't able to finish a lot of what I wanted to finish. So I definitely don't want that to happen now. Um, so there's the main mission right there. I don't know why Mars has been lit up this whole game. And yeah, there's been no missions there. Which kind of makes me think maybe we are not at the end of the game. Or possibly this is not the last mission and we will be on Mars. Because if you remember, Jon Snow's character keeps saying Mars Atam or something like that. So I have a feeling that Mars is our headquarters. Something like that. Anyways, so we got to go to Jupiter. And here we go. Operation Pure Threat Jackal Strike. So we've got to locate, neutralize an enemy destroyer. We have not even seen a destroyer yet. Um, assuming that that what is Olympus Mons, I guess that would be a destroyer, possibly. Um, who knows? We have one most wanted. But yeah, I guess that probability is just a way of saying is the mission hard or not, obviously. So if you play this on the hardest difficulties, that probability is probably like 20-30%. I'm sure Jackal Strikes are a bitch on the hardest difficulties, but... You know what? They're not that hard and There's medium. There's a lone destroyer in an asteroid field orbiting Europa. They're moving in to block our access to the water. Right now, that ship is alone. This should be a fast win. We locate the Solus and disable it. All right. So this is going to be a standard jackal strike, so I probably won't need to do too much loadout changing. So we got the energy weapon still. I actually kind of like that. The anvil. The directed energy weapon is the most powerful cannon, so we have been using that. And I guess we'll stick to the weapon upgrade. Because, we've, like I said before, we've never died. I don't really think the hull upgrade is that beneficial. I mean, I'm sure it's beneficial, but we don't need it. We aren't bitches. Let's confirm the loadout and let's get it going. Super glad that they added these Jackal Strikes into the game, though. I love space combat. Let's not jinx it. I'm getting careful. So as you guys may know, the Call of Duty franchise is directed by or developed by I believe three different developers right now. And they kind of go year after year. So this time it's Infinity Ward developing this one, and I really hope when Infinity Ward gets back to their term of creating Call of Duty. I'm really, really, really hoping that they develop a sequel for this game. Because I honestly did love it. <laughs> it's a great game. Approaching the asteroid field, Captain. Copy, we're visual. Scars cover perimeter. Fever, you're with Okay. Let's get in there and find that destroyer. This is our second asteroid field we've seen in this game. So we gotta find the destroyer. It's gonna be hidden around here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, okay, where are you? Where are you? This is probably gonna be a quick mission, just so you guys know. Yeah, too quiet. I'd be surprised if this is over 10 minutes. It's out there somewhere. It's gonna be a quick one for you guys. That's okay. There's still plenty of game left, hopefully. Is this it? What the shit is this? Destroyer's visual. Oh, there we go. No signature. It's not operational. Looks like that death scuttled the ship. That would explain why it's undefended. Gator, deploy a salvage crew and take what we can. Oh, it looks destroyed. Right, Let's circle back to base. Look at all the blown up turrets on it. Um, okay. Uh. SDF destroyers in the AO, two of them. Oh, shit. shit it's an ambush. Scars, we've got hostile airships. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. So we got two destroyers now. So we have fought these before. So my mistake, both before. Oh shit. So these aren't too hard. You can't really aim for... You can't really aim for the engines like you can on the Ajax. Oh shit! So they're a little harder. But they're pretty much giant bullet sponges from what you guys can see. There we go. Giant bullet sponge. Okay, there we go. Oh shit. 
So those things right there, all those little tiny arrows, that's what we need to blow up. That's what keeps shooting the missiles at us. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit. That was fast. I can't believe how fast that was. Yeah, understatements are is true. Oh, look at that planet over there. I love that nice little touch of adding the plants in the background. Everything they did in this game I love. I'm a huge fan of space in general. I used to spend so much time Wikipedia and just random articles about space. I've always been weird like that. I never took astronomy in school. I went to university. I have a degree in biology. Oh shit. But I never got to take astronomy in space. So I was always like Wikipedia and on Wikipedia looking up stuff. Oh shit. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh man. So we broke that lock. Oh shit. Alright, I gotta start taking out these aces. They're getting behind me and just destroying me. It's one down. So it's just one ace. Alright, we'll focus on the skelters then. Oh shit. So what is that? That's Ajax. Oh go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! It's not too hard to break the locks, you just gotta go sideways. Oh, here he is, here's the ace, that bastard. Oh, got the Ajax. Uh, where's the ace? I gotta keep the ace away from me while I'm getting supplied. I'm so vulnerable right now. Alright. Okay, let's go for this guy. Oh! Ah, uh, shit. I'm gonna assume every time I get those missiles on me, that's the ace. Alright, let's get into a dogfight. Let's do it! Uh, I don't know if I got him. Yeah, I got him. There's another guy right here. Got him too. Gotta take care of that ace. Yeah, we, I know that, bitch. Um, where is he? Do you guys see him? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh shit! He's got flares. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. We clear the sector. UNSA might have a shot at Europa's water. Affirmative. Oh, we still got fighters out here. Let's mop them up. So I guess there's an Ajax left. Do you have a shot on there, Ajax? Oh, there he is. So always go for the back. Always go for the engines. It's the quickest way to take down the Ajax, like so. I guess there's another one. So because this is the last Jackal Strike, obviously they're going all out. So let's go for the engines again. Oh shit, that was fast. That's it, eh? It's under 10 minute mission. Jesus, that was easy. That shit was so easy. So that'll probably be it now. Probably just gonna go back to Operation Black Flag, and I guess that's the end of the, the side missions for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So if you guys enjoyed that, uh, there we go. So Operation Black Flag should take us to Earth. I believe that's what they said. We got to take down that Raya guy. Except we don't want to kill him because if you guys remember, if we kill him. That's going to set off that transponder that's put in his body. And that ain't good for anybody. So. Got to go take that transponder out of his body first. Anyways, we'll do that when we get back. So, we'll see you guys then.